Hello everyone, this is Tim with Paintball Tech. I'm going to do a quick rebuild video for you guys today. This is um, one of Inception Design's new high pressure regulators. If you've gotten one of these regulators, chances are you probably don't have to rebuild it yet, but at some point you're going to have to. But So I'm just going to quickly go over some of the features and which seals you need to, um, to use to replace uh, the parts on the inside and how to take it apart and do your service. So, uh, unlike, it's, it, internally it's very similar to the War Games uh, style regulators. Um, very similar components, but it's got a few key features that make it uh, a little bit different, a little bit nicer. On the bottom, you'll notice it does not have the C-clip, uh, so you can just use a quarter inch wrench to start by removing the adjustment screw. Uh, you don't have to take the collar off if you don't want to. I'm going to show you how to do that here though. Whack the reg on your table and out will come the internals from the bottom of the reg here. You have the reg seat housing with its o-ring and then uh, Unlike the War Games regs, this one actually has two top hats on the spring. Uh, one on the top and one on the bottom. And then uh, inside you'll still have that same 008 o-ring. Unscrew the top cap here. And then to pull the piston out, uh, the top of the piston is actually threaded for 1032, which you can use your caulking rod uh, to thread in and pull the piston out. I've got a old uh, pump arm here. It's also 1032 threaded. So thread it into the top of the piston, flip the rig upside down, and pull out. That way all of your Belleville springs stay on the piston. Unthread it and set it aside. Then, to get the number 8 out inside the housing, you usually need a little dental pick or something along those lines. And it'll come out like that. So, put everything in order. Adjustment screw. There's your body, piston. Like so. Now, for this bottom section, uh, this unscrews this little knobbed cap. If you have a leak underneath your swivel, it's pretty rough to get off up until the halfway point. There is a O-ring in the middle of these threads for retention. It doesn't seal anything, it's just to make sure that this knob is tight. Then the swivel comes off just like that. Then that's completely assembled, all the pieces. So, go ahead and start replacing parts. Standard 0 and 5 on the top. Your reg piston seal is a 113. This one is a number eight. One on the rig seat is a number 11. The tensioner ring in here, you never really have to replace um, unless it's completely shredded. And there's two O rings on the swivel collar. And then one on the top of the rig assembly here. And I believe those are, I want to say 18s. Yeah, this one's an 18. Go ahead and replace that. And these are also 18s, 018s.
Okay, man. This one doesn't want to cooperate. There it goes. So, those three got replaced. 015. And 015. Goes in here. There's a 113 for the piston. Number eight for the bottom here, and number eleven. The rake seats um, can be purchased either through Inception Designs. I also believe that Paintball Gateway sells them. Um, this one is still fairly new, so the rake seat is in really good shape. So I'm not going to replace that one, but if you ever have to, you can use a dental pick just to dig that seat out and put a new one in there. Pretty simple. Now for reassembly, I'll go ahead and put the shims back there and put the number eight in. Make sure it seats in the bottom. There's a little ledge that it sits in. Um, Helps to have maybe a little flashlight you can kind of see down inside where that O-ring is sitting. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on it. Then the top hat assembly should have the two red top hats, one on the bottom and one on the top of the spring. The top of the top hats face each other face each other, like that. I found using a long allen key or a long punch or something along those lines, keep everything lined up and just drop it all down as one assembly. And you're going to put some oil on the piston with the reg seat. Oil or grease, either will work. Um, I believe Simon uses DAW33 when he assembles these. You use your quarter inch wrench, tighten that down. For the swivel collar, a little bit of grease. This is just DAW33. Doesn't have to be a ton just to keep the o rings lubed. And this swivel collar goes on with the fitting facing downwards. And your lock collar goes back on the bottom. Like I said, once it gets over that tension ring, it gets a little bit tight. On the main piston, I'm going to grease the o ring here. And we're also going to add a very light layer of grease to the inside wall of the regulator. So it has a nice smooth surface to slide on once it's put in. And then the other place to grease on here, you're going to want to thread this onto your rod to reinstall it. And then make sure you put some grease on the bottom thin area of this piston. Because that's going to go through that number 8 o-ring in the bottom and seal. So you want that lubed as well. So, turn your rig upside down, wiggle the piston in until it gets all the way down, then you can unthread your 1032 rod. Make sure you put some oil on this 018 so that when you need to take the rig apart again, it's got some lube on there, so it's easy to get apart. Thread your cap back on. Make sure you wipe any excess oil or grease off the outside. And your rig is 
ready to be set for use. There you have it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.